Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any other videos from me. And if you're ready to see my tried and true for this week, stick right, around. This week for my tried and true, I have more beauty items for you. Um, a lot of you requested beauty items and household, so I do on plan. I do plan on making a household um, tried and true for you as well. So my first tried and true, I've had so many people ask me about the lipstick that I've been wearing in my videos, and it's actually the Burt's Bee lipstick that I received in my Walmart Summer Beauty Box. So it looks like this. It's in the shade Magenta Rush, and it's just a really beautiful shade. I love wearing it. It picks up on camera more like it is red, but it's really got like a fuchsia tone to it. That's what it looks like. I'll swatch it for you. All right, so it looks red in camera, but it has more of a pink or fuchsia undertone to it. But on camera, it does pick up kind of red. But I really like it. It's got a um, soft formula. It's very soft on the lips, and it's I just really like it. And it was in my Walmart beauty box, which was only $5, and this lipstick is $8 at Walmart. So if you are looking to try this, they have lots of other different shades, and they have it at Target and Walmart and so forth. So I'm really enjoying that. Y'all see me wear, uh, been wearing it in my videos, so obviously I'm liking it. So that's my first tried and true for the week. The second tried and true, guys, I am in love with this product. This is the Lush Lip Service Lip Balm, and you get this at Lush. I believe you can order this online. I'm not positive, but I think you can, and I think it's like $6.95, and it is just a lip balm inside, and as you can see, I've been using the heck out of it because I like it so much, and I think I can tell you the ingredients, and what's good about Lush, guys, is that they... um are against animal testing, everything's natural, everything's handmade by people at Lush. So they're really good brand, really good products. The ingredients are um, shea butter, apricot kernel oil, glycerin beeswax, um, organic cocoa butter, organic extra virgin olive oil, um, and so forth. It does have but like two more ingredients than that. I'm really loving this because I am wearing this at night when I go to bed. I put it on my lips, like slather it on. I have chapped lips pretty much all year long. It's ridiculous, especially if you want to wear some type of lipstick. But I've been putting this on my lips at night, and when I wake up in the morning, my lips just feel so soft and feel like there's no um, chapness, if that's a word, to your lips at all, and they just feel really, really nice. And I've been able to wear lipsticks with no problem after using this product. So this is a new holy grail of mine. I will forever repurchase this and use this. It's awesome. I wear it on the weekends as well when I don't get all glammed up, and it's just a great, great um, lip balm to you. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend this lip balm. It's at Lush. The third tried and true for this week is going to be the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I started using the face primer. I have a bunch of primers I'm working through right now, and I really, really like this one. Uh, this is how it looks. It goes on... Um, it's got like a silicone type of feel to it, and it goes on pretty well. As soon as you put it on, it has all these claims that it makes you look refreshed, makes you look like you had a good night's sleep. You can wear it by itself with no makeup on, and it does... I do feel like it brightens my face. Um, I don't know if it's just a placebo effect I got going on in my head, but I really do um, like the way it makes my skin look. After it dries, my makeup does glide on pretty nicely, and I think that it does a good job with my makeup lasting throughout the day. So I am really enjoying this product. It does have a slight coconut smell, slight, like barely there, and it says it's made with coconut water. But other than that, it doesn't have much of a smell at all. But I'm really loving this. This is my sample, so it won't last me much, much longer. But I am considering buying the full size depending on the price, because I really am enjoying that this week. All right, so that's number three. The next thing I have is the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo Honey Treasures. Um, strengthens and, and heals damaged hair. I am loving this shampoo. I saw a lot of people haul this shampoo, so I had to go and try it for myself because they were ranting and raving about how great it was. And the smell, it smells like honey. It smells like honey and vanilla. It has a really, really pleasant smell to it. But besides the smell, because most shampoos smell good, it works amazingly. If you put it in and you lather it up, it has a great lather, which I is a must for a shampoo for me. And not only that, while I'm lathering it, it feels like my hair is so soft, which is unusual for shampoos. Usually I feel like I have to work them in and they're dry and it's just not working really well. This one, I feel like my hair is soft. I feel like it is repairing my hair as I'm using it. And not only that, but after I use this product, my hair feels super soft 
and I can smell the product on my hair afterwards, which I can't say for other shampoos all the time. So I am highly enjoying this product. I have the hair deep conditioning mask too, and I really like that. This product I think is three something at Walmart. Tip for you, if you go to coupons.com, there is a dollar off coupon for any of the Whole Blends brands, so this would make it like two something at Walmart if you're considering trying it. So um, that's at coupons.com, I'll link it right here. Um, but I like this shampoo, I will continue to purchase this. Um, really, really enjoying this. So if you haven't tried it, I recommend it to try. So that was my fourth tried and true. My fifth and last tried and true for you this week is my Becca highlighter. I just bought this, if you watched my Sephora haul, it came with a, I think I have it back here, it came with a liquid highlighter as well. It was a two pack for $20 at Ulta. And I'll show you what it looks like, Let's see if you can see it pretty good. All right, so it looks like this. Let's see if I can swatch it where you can see it. And it's just got a beautiful, beautiful shimmer to it. And I haven't, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used really a highlighter before, but I haven't been putting much on. I take a brush after I put my blush on and I just dab it um, right here and then I work it in with my fingers and it just gives a pretty glow on the temples and your cheeks. I just really like the way that it looks. And like I said, this little bitty size will last me a long time because I'm not using a lot of it. And this and the liquid was $20 at Ulta. And the big one I think is way more expensive. This is in the shade Opal if you're interested. But I really, really like this highlighter. Um, I put it right here and I put a little bit on my nose and that's it, I'm good to go. So I'm loving this highlighter and thought I would share that with y'all. That's all my tried and trues, but I have one last thing. I got this in my last birch box, and if you watched my July birch box, you could tell by my expressions that I just was not very happy with a lot of the things in that box. But uh, I did get this sea salt spray, and I was skeptical about it. But I used it today after letting my hair air dry a little bit, still wet. And I want y'all's feedback on what you think. It's supposed to leave beachy waves, um, you know, that beach look just off the beach. So what do y'all think about this? Because this is out of my comfort zone to wear my hair like kind of wavy like this. Um, but I put it in, it has an amazing smell. It has a vanilla smell, it smells so good. Um, so I'm enjoying that. And once it dries, it kinda has, it's not crunchy like a lot of people have been talking about sea salt sprays. It just has a little light um, hairspray effect to it, if you will. Um, so I'm liking this, but I want y'all's feedback on how you think the hair looks today because I'm not, I'm not too comfortable with this kind of hair. I straighten it and I don't usually wear it wavy. I also used with it, this came in my Ipsy bag, the anti-frizz sheets, portable hair luster sheets with coconut oil. I used this with it because I went outside and it's 100% humidity here and I started to fro up a little bit with frizz. <laughs> so I used this and it tamed that and it was smooth and nice. So these frizz sheets, they look like this. I left one out for you. They are super thin is the only bad thing about them, but they have a lot of product on them, so I guess they don't need to be thick, but it pretty much tamed my frizz, so I like that, especially from my 100% humidity uh, area that we live in. So I got four more packs of these, so I'll be using those sparingly, but I liked this combo together, and y'all let me know what you think about the hair. All right, guys, so that is my tried and true for this week. Y'all leave comments on what you'd like to see next, and thank you so much for subscribing and watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like Tried and True, and I will see you next time with another video. Y'all have a great day. Bye.